Solo Wizard is a website which creates configurable chef scripts, which you can use to bootstrap your development machine. All you have to do is select which recipes you want and which ones you don't want. So let's select memcache. Uh, and then if you're curious about what a recipe does, you can view the details, and this will give you a short description. And then you can view the recipe on GitHub, and you can see the underlying chef code if you kind of want to know more of the nitty gritty of how it works. So once you've made all your choices, you can scroll down and click the big create my script button and that's it no sign up or email is, is needed to run the script you have two options you can copy and paste this command into a terminal window or you can download the shell script locally and run it that way i'm going to go with the copy and paste method so i'm going to copy this and then paste it into a terminal window. Now, before I actually execute this, I'd like to talk about the dependencies which Solo Wizard needs. So let's open up a new tab and go to the Solo Wizard FAQ. So the two dependencies are Xcode and Mountain Lion. Um, I would really suggest that you run on Mountain Lion because the Pivotal Workstation recipes are only compatible with Mountain Lion in their most up-to-date version. Um, if you want to, you can switch to the last Lion release tag. Um, that's, those aren't supported anymore, so it, I wouldn't really recommend it, but that is an option if an upgrade is not possible for you right now. Um, and as far as Xcode, you do need to install the Xcode command line tools. Um, your options are you can either install Xcode via the App Store, or you can install the Xcode command line tools directly. Um, I enjoy iPhone development, so what I would recommend is doing it from the App Store. Um, the one step which is needed, which I don't believe was needed before, is after you install Xcode, you need to open it up, and you need to go to Preferences, and then you need to install the Xcode uh, command line tools. So this is another 100 megabyte download on top of the 5 gigabyte download you just did, which is kind of a bummer, but um, this is a one-time only cost, so I usually just kind of set it and then go do something else. Okay, now that the Xcode command line tools are done installing, we can exit out of Xcode. We can go back to our terminal and we can run the solo wizard script. Now this is going to take uh, sudo access so it can install the soloist gem um, which is the format of how the solo wizard script is, um, is written. Um, you can find more about that on the in the FAQ and on the Pivotal Workstation um, GitHub pages. So it has finished installing the Soloist gem, pulled down the Pivotal Workstation recipes, and now Chef Solo is installing, um, installing the software. You can see right now it is installing Google Chrome. So that is Soul Wizard. Uh, my goal is that Soul Wizard will be a painless way for engineering teams to share a common setup. Um, one thing you can do is this URL, which is given when you create your script, is bookmarkable and you can share it to other friends or uh, coworkers. If you have any issues with the project or um, would like to contact me, in the, the footer, there's my Twitter handle, which is Tommy Hallett or you can open up an issue on the Solo Wizard um, GitHub page, which is Tommy H slash uh, Solo underscore Wizard. All right, thanks a lot.